Hi, I'm Danielle Lennard. And I'm John David Lennard. And we're with the Lennard team here on Long Island, New York. Today, we have a lot to talk about given the new year. It's 2017. This is our first video of the year. In the first part, we've asked Derek Le LeVay to come back and talk about interest rates and how they might be affected due to the interest rate hikes, if at all. And then in the second part, we want to tell you about where we were last year in 2016, where we're going in 2017, and how that might affect you and, and your decision to buy or sell real estate. So let's get started. Hey Derek, thanks for joining us again today. Thanks for having me again. Um, so it's a question that I, I've been have I've been wanting to ask you, frankly. You know, with the holidays being over, um, you know, there was in the news towards the end of last year Janet Yellen and the Fed raising an interest rate by a little bit. Did that have any effect on mortgage interest rates? It hasn't had an effect yet, um, but what it did show is that the economy is going to be able to handle higher rates in general. Okay. Um, and what that has done has boosted the market and the bond market for a sell-off, which is going to make interest rates higher. Okay. People aren't running to the bond for security, which is what's going to keep rates lower. So those words that she said have had an effect. And since the election, we've had a big increase in rates. And how, you say big, like what? Like, can you give some kind of just general example? So an easy way for someone to um, try to see where rates are is to look up the 10-year treasury. Mm -hmm. Pre-election, the 10-year treasury was floating around 1.7, 1 1.6. 1 it's mm -hmm. currently at 2.3. What that means in interest rates is low to mid threes to low fours. Okay. You're going to see a little bit of an up and a down. We've been higher. We did come down a little bit more. The question is, when you're timing, you can't really time it that well, where are you going to be in that up or down? Okay. Uh, overall, for 2017, mortgage rates should stay here or be higher. The question is, how high will the highs be and how low will the lows be during the up and down throughout 2017? So if you, what I hear you saying is if you time it right, you may be able to find a, uh, some like a buyer for your house, lock in, get them to lock in, and then go out and find a, a home if you're financing yourself, find a, a mortgage in that trough. I mean, obviously the timing is everything, right? Correct. As in as in stocks or anything else, but but that is a possibility for this year. Definitely. Going a lot forward. of experts are saying that for 2017, we're going to have um, higher sale prices, higher interest rates, and more purchases happening because people don't want to be buying at 6 7%. Right. right. And that is Which is still historically low rates. It is still a very good rate. <laughs> but uh, it makes a difference. Yes, of course. Historically, in the grand scheme of the Lennar team, though, I mean, if you think about it, it's been you know, 10, 15 years now that we've had such low rates that yep. that the market doesn't care anymore that they were one seven and that was considered good. Mm -hmm. um, and, and my question to that is then if rates in the next two or three years, however long it takes to get to that seven, eight percent range, if that's going to have a depressing effect on real estate prices. Well, keep in mind with the current regulations in my industry, everything is about debt to income ratio. Mm -hmm. So when your interest rates travel up, that's less you can afford of a house because you're still only able to afford a certain amount monthly. Mm -hmm. So if I was going to list a house, I would rather list now. If I was going to buy a house, I could buy more because the rates are lower because I'm still going to qualify off that same payment. Right. That's really interesting. Yeah. So thanks, Derek. I'm really glad you came in today to explain some of this stuff. It's actually enlightening to us too, right? Mm -hmm. I appreciate you guys having me. I look forward to a good 2017. Yes. <laughs> Perfect. Awesome. Thanks. Take care. Awesome. <laughs> Hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to us and reach out to Derek. And uh, we'll be happy to answer any questions and hope 2017 is a great year for all. And remember, in the second part of this series, uh, we'll be talking about the same kind of issues, but more from a real estate-centric uh, point of view. Talk to you soon. Bye. Thanks. Bye.